Hi guys, welcome to the channel, this is Jerry. Today is a complete tutorial video for the MG ZSEV Generation 2 about how to charge the vehicle, how to disconnect the charger, how to do schedule charging and so on. As always, I'll leave all the timestamps down below for you to skip forward. If you enjoy the contents, please make sure you subscribe and like down below. And before you charge the vehicle, first information you need to know is make sure you turn your motor off. That means power off the whole motor. Even if your screen, your entertainment screen stays on, that's fine. Make sure your dashboard is not displaying anything. Uh, make sure it's, there is no ready sign. Make sure your headlights, the LED daytime running lights is not on. That means that function the, or your motor is completely shut off. Then you can get out the vehicle to start charging the vehicle, basically. All right, first is how to open the charging cover. So as long as the vehicle is unlocked, as long as your central locking is disengaged, you just simply press this button, press this side, sorry, and then press this to open the charger port, basically. You have two charging ports. The top one is the Type 2, where combined is your CCS DC charging. And so if you want to use the Type 2 only, you just make sure you, this is closed and plug your charger in it. And this is an example how the Type 2 looks like. So the Type 2 plug looks like this. And whether you are using the trickle charge that comes with the vehicle or a charging cable or charging box or, or anything charging stand, simple way, just plug this in. As long as the other side is connected from the charger itself, this will start charging after a few seconds. Hopefully it will pick up the noise as you can see right now, it's blue, that means it's ready, it's engaged. Then it's green, that means it's charging. You hear noise from the charging flap, that means it's locked in. So it's while it's charging, you can't pull it out. And there are a total of three ways to show you the charging information. First thing, if it's green, that means it's charging. It'll show you the percentage from four bars, 25, 50, and 75. This means only the top one is flashing, so it's over 75% charged at the moment. And now if we open and close the door, you will see this charging information on the vehicle display. So at the moment, this vehicle is charging. As you can see, it's got around 320 Ks to go at 79% with about three hours and seven minutes left. So this is the second way to check your charging status. And the last way is to see your charging information on your iSmart app. If your vehicle supports iSmart app or if you have iSmart app enabled, so either click the battery icon over here or click the bars on the top and go to charging management. So once you have gone into charging management, it will refresh and let's, we can see it's at 79%. You have about, you know, 79% to um, charging and you can see the remaining range, finishing time and charging power. Finishing time is actually three hours something from now on and charging power right now is about five kilowatts. Again, depends on where you go, depends on what's the kilowatts, it'll show you information over and here. Well, it's on charge, you won't be able to pull this charger out as the vehicle is on charge right now. And so what you want to do, you want to Go to your keyblade and press the unlock button. So press unlock. Hear the sound of the releasing sound. That means you can safely pull this out to stop the charging. To want to charge again, just plug it in and leave on to charge. While the vehicle is on charge, you can lock the vehicle. That's no problem. Or you can keep the vehicle unlocked. That's no problem at all. At all. In, in emergency situation, you can also find this pull over here. That's to manually unlock the charging cable. So you can just pull this while you're unplugging the charger. So that allows you to do an emergency release for the charging if something's faulty. So and using the DC and fast charge function is very similar to the type two. So what we need to do, open the charger, open the bottom one. So we're gonna use the combined box. And here we have a fast charger. So I'm just actually borrowing the charger from an uh, East Auckland BMW and Mini. Thanks for the help. So plug it in. Obviously, we want to start the charger on this end. This is a non-paid station, so just press start. That's all we need. And the power will be available soon. Just like that. So it's all powered. And because the vehicle has not set any um, schedule charging or anything like that, once the blue light is gone, it will change to green. That means it will start charging straight away. And just like that, it will start charging. 
And just like the standard Type 2 charging, you'll show the blinkers over here and you'll show everything on the dashboard about your charging information. On your charging, um, on your charging station, you also find all the information over here, whether it's paid or free charging station. We're gonna stop the charging just by now. We can unlock the charger now and safely pull this out, just like that. So that's all done. Once it's all done, make sure you push everything in secured and push that back in. And next is the charging time. So the charging time varies from your charging cables, charging stations, or your power you get from your charging stations. Um, so first thing, you'll get a trickle charge cable from the vehicle purchase. This is available in New Zealand and the Australian market. So this particular cable will allow you to give the vehicle power through a household socket. This will power peaked at 2.4 kilowatts. That means charging the standard range 50 kilowatt hour battery will cost you somewhere around 25 to 30 hours from zero to 100 percent. And then if you install something like the AMG Charge Hub 7 kilowatts, that means they will charge the, the standard range in about seven to eight hours. If you go to the 11 kilowatts three phase, which is supported for all the AMG vehicles in New Zealand, they'll charge the standard range in about 5.5 hours and if you go to a fast charging station the power will peak at about 80 to 90 kilowatts that means from 0 to 80 percent it will go somewhere around 40 minutes and as for the long range available in New Zealand that come with a 72 kilowatt hour battery the charging time for the standard trickle charge uh, through household socket that come with the vehicle for free that will take about 30 to 35 hours from 0 to 100%. And then if you go to the 7 kilowatts charging cable, that takes about 9 to 10 hours overnight from 0 to 100. And if you go to the 11 kilowatts, that means around 6 to 7 hours from 0 to 100%. If you go to a fast charging station, that means 0 to 80% in about less than one hour at the fastest charging speed. Next, we're going to talk about the charging settings available on your infotainment screen. So first, click the charging settings on the green bar, or you can use the battery button that's available in the New Zealand and Australian market. And we have the charging settings on the top. That means press the charging setting. You have the schedule charging over here. So you can enable the schedule charging. What that means is we have selected 10 o'clock at night and 6 o'clock in the morning. That means if we plug the vehicle in at about 8.30 in the afternoon, it's not going to charge straight away. Instead, it will show the blue light on the um, charging information at the front. Then it will only start charging at 10 o'clock and it will stop charging at 6 o'clock. That means if you have a low rate at night or if you're only going to charge the vehicle to a certain amount or whatever you like, you wish, you can enable this. But if you would like the vehicle to be charged straight away once you plug it in, make sure you disable this. And there is a function called allow charging to continue after set end time. This is only available on the long range for New Zealand Australian market. If you do enable this, that means even if you, you, you can only start charging at 10 o'clock and it will finish at whenever you unplug or whenever you finish charging basically. So that's allow that. If you don't allow it, that means the vehicle will stop at 10 or whatever you set. You can set up time, you can set up minutes and click OK. That will confirm. It will refresh the clock. That means it's all set. And to disable this, just single touch. That means it's disabled. Additionally, for the schedule charging, you can only set it up before the vehicle starts charging. If the vehicle is already on charge, you won't be able to do anything with it. And same function as the MG Smart App Control called iSmart. You can also do schedule charging over here. Again, you want to make sure the vehicle is not on. You want to make sure the vehicle is not on charge right now before you enable this. You can enable it. And again, select what at a time and save and type your code. For example, in this instance, it's 1234, just a dummy phone setting. That means it will save at the schedule charging information. And when you plug the vehicle next time, it will save your schedule charging, just like that. Otherwise, disable and save. That means schedule charging is not controlled anymore. 
The next function we have available here is the battery heating always on. So the battery heating always on will be helpful if you live in extreme cold weather, for example, minus 10 degrees in some places, and then you can enable this function. That means when you drive the vehicle, the battery will try to keep its heat um, a little bit higher than what it normally is. So in, again, extreme cold weather, and when you go to a fast charging station, you can start the fast charge straight away without waiting for the battery to heat up. Um, as, as in fast charging stations or in fast charging ways, when the battery heating or when the battery heating is quite low or when the battery is really cold, it's not going to be able to offer the max kilowatts into the battery. Um, I don't, do not think you will be need, needing this in most New Zealand and Australian market or weather information but again this is something you can consider please note if you do enable this it will drain some amount of battery while you run the vehicle all right now this is what we can see on the mg iSmart app while the vehicle is on charge so you can first thing on the main screen you can see the vehicle is on charge with you know green icons on the right that tell you the mg is on charge with the battery so you can also click these battery bars to go into the charging management or alternatively you can click the bars on the top left go to charging management to go into this small control menu so once it's connected to the software on the internet, it will show you the charging information. It's about 79 or 81 percent right now. You can do finish charging. That means you can actually stop charging the vehicle from distance while you're not even close to the vehicle. Or you can do a schedule charging. Um, on the long range, the long range vehicle in New Zealand, you can also select charging um, to percentage, whether it's 70 percent or 100% or any percent you select, all the way from, I believe, 40%, anything like that. That means the vehicle will only charge to a certain percentage. You can control the percentage setting on your screen as well. And to control the finish charging, we are going to click the finish charging on here, and we're going to click our code on this instance, just one, two, three, four. As you can see, the vehicle is on charge right now with the green bars. Now it's blue bars, it means it stopped charging because I've done so on the phone. As you can see, it stops charging as um, other reasons because we stopped doing charge charging. You can do start charging, just click start. Do one, two, three, four again. And just like that, the vehicle will start charging again with the green bars on the top. Additionally, for the New Zealand and Australian market, if you're driving a long-range vehicle, you can also select different bars in between to do your schedule to charging to percentage. That means when you put the vehicle on charge, it will only charge to 80% or charge to 60% wherever you select it. Or you can just go allow it to go all the way where it's on standard range. You don't have this function. And the, for the discharging information, we'll talk about that later as we have the vehicle to load cable finally available in New Zealand soon. So I'll do an individual video about how to use the vehicle to load function on this particular vehicle, the ZS EV. Right, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you're interested in other videos in the future, please subscribe and like to support this channel. Thank you. See you later.